Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create this awesome futuristic radio wave effect out of a shape or outline of a person in Adobe After Effects. So to get started, let's open up a new project or composition. And for myself, I'm just going to use the default 1920 by 1080 sizes. And I'm going to be working with this example clip, which I've dragged into the project media bin of this guy doing a push up. So I'm going to drag that onto the composition to create a layer of it. Now the basis of this tutorial is that we're taking the shape or outline of a person and emanating radio waves from that outline. So this is gonna depend entirely on the clip that you're using, something with a nice contrast between the foreground and background. If you have a chance to plan when you're shooting it, it's going to work best. If you can use a green screen or something like that, it's gonna make your life even easier. But let's just say we're working with any old clip and trying to pull the shape out of it. The first thing I'm gonna do is go to my Roto Brush tool Double click on the layer to bring it into the window so we can work on it. And you should see your green roto brush pop up. And I'll make sure I'm at the start of my timeline or clip. So at the very beginning and click and paint in my selection. And After Effects will do a pretty good job guessing where the outline should be. In this case, his feet are kind of cut off and it's hard to get a perfect fit because his feet kind of go right into the sand. So if you hold option, you can actually subtract parts of the selection that you don't want. And I don't really have to make sure it's too perfect because this is a bit of an abstract effect and it's okay if it's a little rough around the edges or not 100% smooth in my opinion. So now I'm going to click this gray arrow that you see on the timeline and stretch it out for as long as I want to create that selection and press freeze and your After Effects will begin going through frame by frame and trying to match this selection. If you check, I have other tutorials on rotoscoping. Sometimes things may not be perfect. Uh, this really depends on your clip. So if you are able to plan and shoot it in a crisp scenario, that will be better. But I'm gonna fast forward and get to the end of this process. Once you've got your rotoscoped out selection, which you can see as you scroll through the timeline, that pink highlight, follows your object as you want. You can also toggle the views just to see what you've got in transparency, how smooth it is. You can always go into the effects control panel and make some fine tune adjustments if you like, like feathering, contrast, shifting of the edges, and more. But I've got a decent selection here. So the next thing I'm gonna do is highlight my layer and go to layer, auto trace, because we wanna turn this rotoscope selection into an actual mask path. So in this window settings, I wanna make sure to select work area and that'll take all of this area that I have highlighted instead of just the single frame to make sure that our path is also animated. And then you can set some adjustments like tolerance and threshold if you need more flexibility, but I'm gonna leave everything at default since we've already rotoscoped and press okay. And you'll see that this will also trace each frame in our work selection and turn it into a path that we can work with when we're working with our effect. So once that finishes, you should see it pop up as a new layer in your composition. And if I highlight this new layer, go back to our composition view by closing the layer view, you can see we have this path that we've created. It kind of acts like a shape for now, and it's animated. So now that we have the most tedious bits of work behind us, the next parts are pretty fun. We can just go to the effects control panel and search for one called Radio Waves. So I'm actually gonna highlight my composition window, go to Layer, New, Solid, press OK, and apply this Radio Waves effect on this new layer. So we have it separated. Now if we head over to the Effects Control Panel, under the Wave Type, let's change it from Polygon to Image Contours. And under the Image Contour, for the Source Layer, let's choose that Auto Traced Layer that we just created. And under Source, let's choose masks. So that's gonna take the masks that we've created and use those to generate the radio wave effect. So at this point, I'll hide the visibility of my auto traced and my original layer. So we're just working with the radio waves and we have our radio waves emanating out of the custom path that we want, which is pretty cool. So next, I'm gonna go to layer, new, solid. Let's just create a black solid backdrop. Make sure I drag this at the very bottom. Don't get these confused. If you want, you can rename them if you're organized, but you can always tell what layer has what effects on it in the effects control panel. So now we can get to adjusting some things about the radio waves. 
So there's all types of ways you can play around with it from the starting point, left to right, or the amount of frequency in the wave motion. So the more frequency, the more uh, outlines will be coming out of the center at each second. You can change the expansion, which is how far or close they expand out. You can also adjust the velocity, which kind of spins them on their side. Or you can adjust the spin, which rotates them around as they exit the center. So there's a few adjustments that I'm going to make just for personal taste and just for fun. I'll increase the frequency a little bit just so we have more outlines to work with. I'll lower the lifespan, which is how long they last, from 10 until I get a little bit of fading. I'll do triangle for a more thin lined look. I think it looks better. You can also adjust the fade in and fade out time here as well. So how long it takes for each stroke to fade out from the moment that it's birthed, so to speak. And they start with and end with. So you can make them start thin if you want and end on a thicker note or vice versa. Whatever, you can really get creative with it and just preview it and see how things play. It's cool because usually with radio waves, you're just working with a solid path. But in this one, the path is actually moving, which creates a really trippy type of visual effect for a final look. But one thing that I'm going to do, instead of keeping the original outline, I'm going to spice it up, add some color correction by going to the effects preset panel and searching for one called ramp. So we'll just add a gradient ramp right onto this radio waves layer. And that'll add a linear gradient by default. So I can pick some custom colors like dark blue to medium green, I think is a nice combo. Uh, you could also add glows or whatever type of stylistic things you want from this point on. I'm also going to change the background maybe just from being solid black to adding my own gradient ramp on the background as well. Maybe another thing where it goes from blue to black, dark blue to black, something like that. Just add a little bit of depth and interest to it. And then just play around with all the different settings until I get exactly what I want. So here is our final result. We've got a really interesting guy doing a push-up, but in futuristic radio wave outlines coming from the center and creating an abstract image overall. This could be cool with all different types of shapes, objects, people dancing, whatever. I'd love to see what you create with it. If you do come up with a cool result, feel free to send it to me on Twitter or Instagram. Send me a message. I'd love to take a look at them. If you did enjoy this video, definitely subscribe to my channel below. If you're not, check out my After Effects playlist for more After Effects tutorials. And let me know what you thought in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.